Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to be doing another showdown. This time we're going to be comparing the standard 20 gallon tank to a 20 long. See which one's better, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each, so stay tuned. Alright, so here we're looking at a 20 high. The dimensions are 24 and a half by 12 and a half by 16 and 3 quarters. So let's start with the advantages of this size tank. I think one advantage is it's easy to find and quite often you will see it as part of a kit at a lot of your big box stores and they're relatively cheap so it's an easy way to get started in the hobby uh, and it's also even if you just buy the 20 gallon itself let's say at, at a dollar per gallon sale it's easy to find lids and lights and stands just because they are so common now they're not quite as long as a 20 long uh, being 24 and a half inches long and so that's going to be an advantage if you've got a tight space and you don't have a lot of space for a tank then this might uh, work out pretty well given that it's just over two feet long uh, it is taller and so because of that because you're getting that 16 and three quarter inches in height uh, you can start to look at fish that will inhabit different areas of the tank and so maybe you've got some hatchet fish at the top and you've got some midwater fish like guppies and platies in the middle and some tetras and then at the bottom you could have quarry cats uh, and maybe some loaches and so there's a lot of options in terms of the uh, types of fish that you put in inhabiting different areas of the tank which is kind of cool now another advantage for those of you who are uh, into plants and we can see here we got lots of plants in these tanks uh, they're definitely on the overgrown side is the plants that you get can grow a little bit taller because you've got 16 and 3 quarter inches uh, you know wisteria that you saw in the previous tank that's an option water sprite jungle val uh, those types of plants will pretty much grow from top to bottom and look pretty nice in the background another interesting uh, note to make when you're comparing these two size tanks you're going to need less substrate in a 20 high because it's only two feet long so not a lot less but you could probably get away with a little bit less save a little bit of money uh, now you also get a taller viewing window and so for some people that might be an advantage where you can see a little bit more height in your in your water uh, in your water column and so that might provide a little bit more interest now a couple disadvantages I would say to a 20 high and this is probably one of the main ones it doesn't have a lot of surface area at the bottom so if you're keeping you know smaller size dwarf cichlids or any fish that's going to be slightly territorial uh, the 20 high might be a little bit more difficult to keep those fish just because you've only got two feet of length instead of three feet with the 20 long that we're going to talk about here in a few minutes one final note if you're looking at building a fish room and adding 20 gallon tanks uh, perhaps an advantage to this tank would be that because it's only 24 and a half inches long uh, you might be able to fit more lengthwise on a wall uh, but a disadvantage may be you might not be able to stack as many high when you're using a 20 high compared to a 20 long and it's easier to stack 20 highs end to end all right so now let's take a look at the 20 long and that's what we're looking at here it is 30 and a quarter by 12 and a half by 12 and three quarters it's basically the same length and width as a 29 gallon or a 37 gallon it's just a little bit shorter and so when it comes to lights and lids and stands uh, anything that fits a 29 or a 37 will probably fit this as well so some of the advantages I think the main advantage to a 20 long is the surface area the fact that you're getting 30 inches of length instead of 24 uh, that makes it a lot easier to keep fish that are going to be slightly territorial maybe things like apistos and rams both german and bolivian rams uh, so smaller cichlids might be a little bit easier uh, to keep in a 20 long compared to a 20 high um, the other thing is if you are looking for a tank for an iron stand maybe you've got a 29 or a 37 on the top of an iron stand a 20 long is a really nice choice because you still have a little bit of area between the top of the tank and the bottom of the tank on the top part of the stand you still have some area to work in that tank so uh, that's certainly an advantage there if you're looking at building out a fish room uh, one of the nice things about the 20 longs because they are shorter it's a lot easier to triple stack uh, 20 longs compared to 20 highs and so that's a definite advantage that uh, we have found with our fish room uh, the other thing is they might be a little bit easier to work on so because they're only 12 and 3 quarter inches high it's easier to plant plants it's easier to catch fish uh, 
at least for me, uh, compared to a 20 high. Now, for plants, one disadvantage, you can see this wisteria kind of bending over in this tank. One disadvantage is some of the taller type plants aren't necessarily going to work as well in a 20 long because it's a shorter tank. However, if you have a, the same type of light on a 20 high and a 20 long, the bottom part of the tank is going to get more of that light in a 20 long because it's shorter. So in that way, it might be a little bit easier to grow plants if that's something you're interested in. Now there are some disadvantages, I consider them to be minor, and that is you don't have as much space between the gravel or the substrate and the top of the tank, so getting fish that inhabit those different areas it might not work quite as well. But on the other hand, because you don't have that much space, it might not be as important. So your guppies, your platies, your you know honey garamis, here we're looking at peacock gudgeons, they inhabit just about all parts of a 20 long because it's just not that tall of a tank. Now, you're going to need slightly more substrate, being a 30-inch long tank as opposed to 24 inches, but I consider that to be a, a relatively minor thing as well. And then one last thing when it comes to uh, building out a fish room, these are not tanks I would generally stack end-to-end, -end, uh, just because it would be really hard to reach the back end of a tank. If you're stacking them front to back, it would be really hard to reach those back parts of the tank because you have to reach over 30 inches of tank. So that would be easier to do with a 20 high. So here we've got a 20 long. We're looking at our Thrichthys maculopinus. They're growing up. They're coloring up. Uh, starting to look pretty cool. Uh, we'll do more on them at some other point. But again, those are some of the advantages and disadvantages of each. All right, so I wanted to show you those two fish tanks, the 20 high versus the 20 long. They're both great tanks. I think the one other thing you might want to consider is if you're going to be building a fish room and you're going to be stacking tanks, so you're going to stack them two or three high, it's a lot easier to triple stack a 20 long than it would be a 20 high. Uh, it just works out better because they're a little bit of a shorter tank, so that would definitely be an advantage going towards a 20 long. If it's me and I had to choose only between one type of tank, either the standard 20, which is 24 inches long, but a little bit taller, or the 20 long, which is 30 inches long, but a little shorter, I would probably choose the 20 long. I like the way it looks. I like the extra real estate it gives us at the bottom. So if we're looking at square footage at just the bottom, uh, you're going to get more out of a 20 long than a 20 high. And that's important for us because of the fish that we keep. So if we're keeping small cichlids, we've got a lot of shell dwellers in our fish room. We do have some apistos. Uh, we have rams. I like having that extra length to kind of separate the fish so that if a pair forms or we've got a breeding group that forms, they can kind of have their own little area of the tank. And it's, it's a little bit separated compared to what we can do in a 20 high. It also allows us to put rock work or caves in different parts of the tank and kind of separate territories. That's easier to do in a 20 long than a 20 high as well. Now, again, I would love for you guys to share your opinion. What do you like? Do you like the 20 highs, the 20 longs? Why? Share those in the comments section. Uh, definitely, we'd love to, to hear what you guys are thinking. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.